From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. Monday, March 15th, and a nation wakes. But will there be a 14 or third stimulus check in your bank account this morning? That's what countless viewers wonder. On Friday, some viewers started to get the 14 dollars stimulus check. More will get it today. But who will be the viewers that get it today and who will get it tomorrow? We have all the details across the board as millions of Americans wonder, what about those comments from the White House? On Saturday and Sunday, comments came out that apparently the president wants to pay $250 a month for 18 years to Americans across the board. What will Wall Street say to this across today? Wall Street's already dealing with a lot of questions, and those questions start with the 10-year Treasury note. The 10-year Treasury note continues to surge at levels that are a little bit uncertain. On Sunday, the Treasury Secretary spoke to Broadcast News and said she's not concerned, but Wall Street is concerned. Unemployment numbers are not improving. The question is, if unemployment numbers are not improving and the 10-year Treasury is surging, what type of stimulus package will the president next have for you? Ultimately, Democrats are asking for reoccurring stimulus checks. They're asking for FPC retro. They're asking for a lot of relief, including SSI and SSDI. How will this work? I have all the details for you as early mornings continues. The coffee is brewing, the toast is toasted, and the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and early mornings L8 returns starting right now. It's a big day across the land as America wakes and hopes that there's a 14 hour third stimulus check in their bank account. But will that be you? And how do you know when it's landing? I have all those details for you right now. Good morning. How are you? The toast is toasted. The butter is buttering. I'm here. You're here. And we're back with early mornings. LA. Thank you for asking for the show to come back. And it's back. In our new programming lineup, EIDL started this morning at 1 a.m. and excuse me, 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, six on the East Coast, and then 3:30 was FPC, which you've been tuning in to great amounts every day. Thank you. And now early mornings LA at four and seven o'clock on the East Coast every day. I'm back with you on mornings LA at nine o'clock for a two-hour programming block. A lot of big developments today about your stimulus check, about when it's landing, about the 10-year Treasury note about a concern about a Wall, a, Wall, a Wall Street crash, a new statement from the White House, and talk about forced stimulus, and additionally concerns about unemployment. I have all the details for you right now, but if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This channel continues to grow leaps and bounds, and we want you to be part of the incredible breaking news, whether it comes from Wall Street or Main Street. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link is on the top of the chat and also in the pinned description to this video. Let's get first to that stimulus check. Who will likely see that electronic disbursement receipt of a stimulus check? Three groups of people. One, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad benefits, and you receive your payments every month electronically, you're going to get the stimulus check electronically as well. IRS already has your account. They already send you payments on a monthly basis, so they know where you are and how to get you money. Great news. Group number two, anyone who got that first and second stimulus electronically, successfully, you're going to get this one as well. And finally, the third group. The third group is the we're not so sure group. First, if you do taxes with an online tax preparer company and they got your stimulus check on their card, before, this may happen as well. Some viewers are actually have seen that a post on Friday and Saturday. Second, if you file a 2020 tax return early and it's already processed, you're fine. If it's not processed, that won't work. So when will you get a stimulus check by direct deposit? When will you not get it? How do you track it? Can the check be taken? And what should you expect between now 
and March 18th. I have all those details coming up in this video, so stay to the very end. Meantime, I have big developments happening this morning, and boy, they are developments. The 10-year Treasury note continues to soar, and if it soars anymore, a lot of people could feel a little bit sore. It surged from 1 to 1.5 in a very short period of time earlier in the last few weeks. But last week, it surged to 1.614 and ultimately to 1.64 until settling back at 1.6. If the 10-year Treasury note continues to surge more, the White House may have to step in. Ultimately, there's a lot of factors at play. Surging, surging interest rate numbers are not good for anyone. A massive surge of the 10-year Treasury note too quickly could cause a stock market crash, a flight out of tech, a flight into bellwethers, and could cause the Federal Reserve to step in. The Federal Reserve has stayed away from stepping in in recent weeks. Jerome Powell certainly confirms that that would change if this continues to get worse. Moreover, Comments were made this weekend by your Treasury Secretary to Broadcast News about her concern whether this gets worse. I'll have more about those details as well. But this is what insiders are saying. Higher rates, less dovish central banks are now considered to be the single biggest threat of risk assets, says Ralph Presser, Bank America rate strategist, in a note. The Dow futures, as you start the new morning, are up sharply at 319. The Nasdaq futures down to 112. Elsewhere, the IRS wakened viewers to great news on Sunday, saying that even though the tax season is in full swing, IRS is now working ahead around the clock to deliver millions of Americans their stimulus checks. Wall Street awakes this morning with Microsoft down 138 and overnight to 235. Apple's down 93 cents to 121. Walmart's up a dollar, almost two dollars at 134, and Tesla's down at six to 693. Of course, one of the items making big news last night, Saturday, and presumably all throughout today is Bitcoin at its highest level ever. But let's cut back to that third stimulus check. That third stimulus check will land in your bank account today if it didn't land on Saturday or Friday. What do you need to know? There was a single push of that stimulus check by IRS on Friday. That was the only push. That single push sent the stimulus check electronically to banks across the country. Some banks decided to release the funds. Some decided not to release the funds. Here's what you need to know. One, there was only one wave of electronic disbursements. Number two, countless viewers this channel got the stimulus check from their bank on Friday, and some got it on Saturday. This is anything from big banks to small banks, credit unions to non-credit unions. They have the funds, and it's available for them in their pocket. So how about you? When would you know when you get your stimulus check? The single determining factor is who you do business with. The bank is the determining factor. The determining factor is only that bank. And the best way to know is ask other people who shop at that bank if they got their stimulus check yet at all. Over the last 48 hours, been able to educate viewers to understand that stimulus receipt has nothing to do with where you live, your last name, how old you are, whether you are on SSI or SSDI or Social Security or railroad benefits, whether you have dependents, whether you are of a certain age or not, nothing like that has anything to do with the equation, only who you do business with. So that turns back then to those banks. How do you know what day you're going to get the stimulus check? Well, some big banks were under fire on Friday because they told viewers that they're getting the checks on the 17th. In fact, as several did. If your bank said that, there you go. That's your date. If your bank didn't say it, then you may get it today. What you need to know is that a stimulus check is sent from a single push between computer to computer, and there's no way to rush it. Moreover, if your bank says the 17th, it may not be available to withdraw on the 17th. It may be processing. And what does processing mean? It means that the payment is pending and is not available to withdraw. How long does it take for processing to clear? It depends on the bank. Some days, it, some banks, it's instant. Some banks, it's one day. Some banks, it's several days. Again, these are things that are occurring because of bank policies on a national level, not at a branch level, and not at a teller level. Nothing you can particularly change by calling someone up or calling anyone across the board. So what about those tracking tools, the IRS tracking tool? 
the IRS transcript tool, they track my stimulus, the non-filer filing, and requesting the missing stimulus. Do those instruments work or do they not work? And what have we learned about them in just the last 48 hours? How are reliable are they and what information can you get for them to know what day you're getting your stimulus check? I'll have that coming up right after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. The toast is toasting, the butter is, is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and your stimulus check could be here today as well. Thank you for joining me on the return of early mornings LA to your family. So glad you're here, and if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe right now. I'm so excited you're part of this family, and thank you for joining me. It's going to be a really great week, and I'm very excited for you to be part of this family. Understand a stimulus check is one of several instruments that you qualify for under the third stimulus package. You qualify for at least $5,000 under the third stimulus package. Throughout today's recordings, I'm going to show you how to get that other money. So don't take that stimulus check and go buy yourself some Jordans and cash out. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to give me some bacon. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, also like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. How about these online tracking tools from IRS? Do they work? No. <laughs> There's three of them. First, the non-fire filing, which was very popular in 2020, it no longer exists. It's gone to IRS heaven. It no longer exists with us. So if you've wondered about using it to fix something, you can't use it to fix anything because it's not a usable instrument. It no longer is with us. The non-fire filing, if it worked in the past, God bless you, but you can't use it anymore. All right, let's turn to the other instruments. The Track My IRS tool. It does go live, and then it crashes, and then it goes live again. Is it reliable? Absolutely not. So what should you know about it? If it gives you some information, good. But if it doesn't give you information, or it gives you confusion information, it doesn't work. Here's an example. Viewers have used it, have already said, it doesn't show a stimulus check was sent out. That means my stimulus check is lost. That means I'm not getting money. That means the world is ending. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> This instrument doesn't work. Then people have also seen a date on it. Oh my God, it says the stimulus check was sent out 10 years ago. I haven't got the stimulus check. Hence, it's lost. It was stolen. I know that neighbor took my stimulus check. No, the tool doesn't work. <laughs> so that's what you need to remember. Then we have the transcript tool. The transcript tool is where you go into the website and you set up an account and you look for the transcript and the same thing. Same thing. They are not reliable instruments. So what's the best way to know when and where you're getting a stimulus check? Asking people who bank at that bank. If they get a stimulus check anytime that day, yours is likely to land the same day. In fact, bank transfers sometimes effectuate in the morning, sometimes overnight, sometimes in the afternoon. They don't all appear on the same day. But when are your reoccurring stimulus checks going to appear? 
Yes, you did hear me right, reoccurring stimulus checks. Democrats are now demanding the President of the United States to pay reoccurring stimulus checks under the next stimulus package. This is not a small push. This is an avalanche of a push. Democrats in the House, Democrats in the Senate have written the President nearly over 100 letters saying that the next time the package comes to us, it has to have monthly checks in there. Now, how much are we talking about? They don't say it, but they say monthly. Presumably, it's $2,000 a month to the end of this year. Presumably, it's about $12,000 for all viewers of this channel who make less than $45,000. Yes, all of you. By that account, at $12,000, it's more than the SSI and SSDI $2,400. It's actually six times that amount. It's more than FPUC Retro, and it's more than Hazard Pay. Three of the major pushes of this channel, which we continue to push and will push. But this multiple stimulus check is not an idle push. It has massive support by Democrats. But what else are Democrats doing? Well, over the weekend, Nancy Pelosi appeared on broadcast news, and during her broadcast, she spoke about the next stimulus package. Now, the stimulus package may be referred to as a infrastructure bill or a climate bill or a stimulus bill, but it's still a stimulus bill. Pelosi told Broadcast News ABC on Sunday that building roads and bridges and water supplies and the rest has been bipartisan, has always been bipartisan, except when Republicans oppose it, with a Democratic president as they did with Obama, and we had to shrink the package. But nonetheless, hopefully it will be bipartisan. This is job creating, which generates revenue across the board. How much revenue? Well, she says this is job creating, which unlike Republicans did with their tax uh, idea in 2017, there should be they should be the last people talking about what's too expensive for the American people. Well, how would the program work? In a separate interview, Wyoming Senator John Barrasso told ABC that he thinks it could be done bipartisan. I ignored what we've done. They've ignored, meaning Democrats, have ignored what we've done in a bipartisan way. If they would have taken the model we came up with for the committee and the Senate for Highway and Transportation, it would be a very good start. I spoke to the Secretary of Transportation about our idea, and I think that's the model we should move forward on transportation and infrastructure. But there's another concern, and that other concern is a shocking development happening on Friday. On Friday, the President held a telephone call with a series of Democrats. You're going to hear their names. Now, here's what's important to understand. First, these individuals are not hiding from the news. In fact, they're going on the record about it. In fact, they're bragging about the news. Second, there's not one, but three people that are confirming these conversations. So this is not gossip. This is actually mainstream news confirmed by the people in the chat. What happened? On Friday, the president had a phone call with a representative, Rosa DeLora. And during that conversation with DeLora, the president heard about DeLora, who's a Democrat from Connecticut's idea, to introduce the child care tax credit of $3,600 as a lifetime benefit. That would mean that everyone from age newborn to 18 would get $250 a month for 18 years. We've been focused on this issue for a very long time, but the moment has met us, says Delora, on the record this weekend. We're ready to move forward with a number of areas that have not gotten support in the past and have gotten universal traction support right now. Well, I don't know if I'd agree with the word universal support, but a political report says that Joe Biden was on the phone with Delora and that he supported it. This is what Politico is reporting about the news. On a call with House Democrats, where the president endorsed the idea, he said the recommendation for getting it done was to listen to Rosa DeLora, according to three people who listened in on the president's conversation. And then there's more in addition to DeLora. Another individual came on the record about the bill as well. And that person is uh, Torres. And Torres said that this should get done right away. It's fair to say that the child care cracks credit was the most consequential but the least controversial package in the third stimulus package. So there's a reason for hope. Is there 
or is there not? Let's cut back to where we are. Forced stimulus is suddenly having a lot of people asking for a lot of things, but those lot of things include stimulus. A, pay, a payout to children for 18 years is not stimulus for a pandemic. It's 18 years of payouts. It's 18 years of payouts. What is my thoughts? My thoughts is that when Wall Street opens today, it's going to see more and hear more about the idea of paying 18 years of 250 a month to people of this country and ask, where is the money coming from? There's only one answer to that question that Wall Street is expecting, which is that President Joe Biden will raise your taxes. There's no money sitting around to pay 18 years of 250 a month to Americans of this country. And so the only idea behind it is taxes and taxes being raised. The question is how many taxes? Now, another story that broke over the weekend is good news, and it concerns the issue of forced stimulus as well. Forced stimulus is needed, and certainly fist stimulus, if unemployment numbers are no good. They're currently not good. There's nine, eight million jobs missing from last year. We're only generating 300,000 new jobs a month. It would take 16 months at 500 jobs a month to be back to normal. So what did Janet Yellen say on, on broadcast news on Saturday? Much as what you would want her to say, which is we need more stimulus until we're back to normal. Until we are back to normal, which she again says is next year, which is good news, then the economy needs support. This is what Yellen said. Is there a risk of inflation? I think there is a small risk of it, and I think it's manageable, but it's a temporary move in prices referring to inflation. I don't think it's a significant risk, and if it materializes, we have certain ways and tools to address it. That word tools, you may have heard someone else say it last week, and yes, it's another Fed person. Her successor, Jerome Powell, said that remark last week as well. He's under fire as well to use tools if the interest rates of this country skyrocket, skyrocket too quickly. Yellen said, I'm hopeful that if we defeat the pandemic and we have the economy back to near full employment next year. Well, that is the words you want to hear, back to full reemployment next year. So what would happen next? What you're going to see starting today is push for force stimulus. It's going to be called a lot of different words by a lot of different people. Some may call it infrastructure. Some may call it climate. Some may call it stimulus. Some may call it something else. It's still stimulus. It will have a lot of other things in there. But what other things it should have in there and what items will be pushed to have in there, thankfully, we already know the push is for those reoccurring stimulus checks. As viewers of this channel, you should stay behind that push because ultimately, Reoccurring stimulus checks is a lot more money than SSI or SSDI. It's a lot more money than hazard pay or FPUC retro. It's a lot more money. And suddenly, Democrats who have to support the bill to pass it say this or the highway. <laughs> Our way or the highway. And suddenly, their way is the way you get to a lot of money. And so with that, stay with me as Mornings LA continues at 9 o'clock. We'll have three big shows starting at 9 o'clock with the rundown of the opening of the markets. Then at 9.30, more about your stimulus. And then at 10 o'clock, breaking developments from street to Main Street. A lot of breaking news. And then I'm back with you at noontime at, 12, at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for asking for the return of Early Mornings L8. I'm happy to bring it back, and I'm excited you've been watching. Make sure you share these videos with other people. Share them on Facebook. Share them on Twitter. Tell people to watch this channel. The more people you bring into the Purple Power, the bigger you make the channel, and the more powerful you make the push for Force Stimulus. Keep that pushing, Purple Power, and keep on subscribing to this channel, like this video, and consider becoming a member. And with that, Stay with me as Early Mornings goes right into Mornings L8 next on this channel.